I know that you know I'm not entirely known for you know looking the, the coolest. I'm pretty much known for wearing my white shirts, but uh, I'm, I am seeing Momo today, so I did want to look presentable. Cool. Good morning guys. So as you can kind of tell I'm not in my typical background I am actually over at my mom's house and Patrick is over seeing his best friend Momo who just got back from the Air Force He is actually stationed here for an entire year and this is his first day back So him and the baby went to go over to see him. Let me tell you guys I have not seen him this happy in a really long time. He is over the moon um, So he went over there to kind of have some quality time with him show off his little baby boy um, Because the last time Momo has seen Grayson has been since he's been a newborn and he is now 10 months old so it has been a really really long time um, Patrick didn't want to vlog or anything because he wanted it to be more of a private moment between them pretty sure it's because there's gonna be tears <laughs> I wanted to give them a little bit of time for themselves so I went over to my mom's house um, and there's a little bit of reasoning behind that as well so something I've been avoiding about talking about for a really long time um, is my grandma's death um, it's something that I am not too strong talking about I don't want to cry on camera or anything um, but my grandma did pass away a few weeks ago um, and the way I cope with things is I kind of just try to act like they never happened uh, so I've just kind of been pushing it aside um, and now it's real talk uh, we have to plan the funeral my grandma my uncle my mom were really like the three people that raised me my uncle was like my father and my grandma was always like a second mom to me uh, we've always lived with them and so this has been one of like the hardest things it's like losing a parent she was in perfect health guys like she honestly I know she was in a wheelchair um, and everything like that but besides that she was in amazing amazing health um, she didn't act her age at all um, she was honestly a lot more energetic than what I was at certain times what she passed from was actually pneumonia um, so she got a common cold and um, her body just couldn't fight it off anymore so it became an infection and we had no idea she wasn't um, having any signs that I mean that we could tell at least that that she was sick she wasn't like coughing she didn't have a sore throat or anything like that um, she wasn't feeling really too um, uneasy or anything um, I was there the day before she passed um, I went over to decorate the Christmas tree it happened before Christmas which was really hard and uh, she just she couldn't keep her eyes open what I mean by that is she just kept falling asleep uh, so much so that she was almost falling out of her chair uh, we kept telling her to lay down like we, we had no idea what was going on at that point because again there were no other signs that we noticed um, she wasn't on any medication and saying like hey let's go to the hospital let's go to the hospital but she didn't want to go uh, just because she didn't want to spend Christmas over at the hospital which is understandable my family especially Ashley has dealt a lot with the hospital with my uncle having cancer so we know how it's like to spend a holiday um, in the hospital she didn't want to do that so we obviously had to respect her wishes she just went to bed um, and I went home and then later that night um, I guess she got back up inside her wheelchair and she went out to the living room and my mom was with her and I don't know what my mom was doing I don't know if she was like in the kitchen or what but she wasn't in the room and my grandma fell asleep and fell out of her wheelchair um, totally and my mom she actually has a bad back she only has three good discs so anybody that knows about backs kind of know that's that's really bad so she tried picking my grandma up and putting her back inside her wheelchair but she couldn't so she had to call the ambulance again at this point we still had no idea like my mom just thought she was really tired and she fell out of the wheelchair um, and so the ambulance came and took her to the hospital today my mom called me and I was going to work and so she was like hey like we need to go to the hospital this is big and my entire life again like I've lived inside the hospital guys like seriously majority of my life has been spent in the hospital because my uncle and just like other just health problems with my family um because my mom's disabled my uncle had cancer and my grandma just was of old age so I really lived inside the hospital so whenever my mom told me that she was in the hospital again it didn't really phase me at that point because I just thought I, don't, I just thought that she was obviously going to get better and come back out. Um, and so my mom told me that it was really serious and I didn't take it into... I still went to the hospital and everything, but I didn't believe it until the nurses told me that we really only have four or five more hours with her. Um, and so basically what they explained was that she had an infection and that is why she was so drowsy and so tired that she had 
she was lethargic um, and it was really just her body shutting down. She was asleep, she was in a coma because her body was just shutting down so we didn't really get to say goodbye. Um, my last words to her though were I love you um, so I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to do that and give her a hug before I left the day prior um, and um, we we tried everything um, we resuscitated her twice uh, my grandma was very very big on resuscitation so we did resuscitate her twice and um, that was probably one of the most traumatic things I have ever had to see it wasn't pretty um, what they show in movies really is not what it looks like. They have to break uh, the rib cage to actually do it. So it, it was it was really hard. She passed away, and um, we're just kind of going from there. Um, we have to obviously plan the funeral now. We have a set date. It's going to be February tenth. I am making the video for the funeral. Um, and yeah. So today's plan with my mom is we're really just going to be going through old photos, figuring out what we want to be shown in the funeral, um, kind of cleaning out a little bit of her room. As far as like, you know, things like personal items of hers, we need to disperse them throughout the family. So there's just a lot of things that we have to do. So I'm probably going to be staying here for a day or two, um, you know, to help my mom with that because uh, I know she's been really lonely lately. And so the baby is probably going to stay over at Patrick's just because I don't know um, how much crying we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm a big believer of whatever energy you put out to your baby is the energy that, you know, they're going to be on. So I would rather Grayson not be here, although he would make us feel better. Um, I just, I know that we're not going to be able to control the tears, so I think he would be better in a happier environment. So he's going to be with Patrick while this is all going down, and that is what we're going to be doing. I promise, guys, though, I I'm going to keep the vlog as positive as possible just because those are the kind of vlogs I like to see. I'm going to try to be as happy as possible for you guys, um, but I just want to let you know kind of what's going on and if I get a little bit more on the serious side, uh, just let me live. <laughs> my mom does have a friend over right now, so while she does have her friend over, I'm going to go get my nails done because I never have alone time away from the baby and Patrick, so I'm just going to have a little bit of me time and go get my nails done and my eyebrows done. Because girl these eyebrows need some work and here's my mom hi guys hey so it's just gonna be us for the vlog today probably yeah boring vlog today so we are on our way to the nail shop my mom is gonna drop me off and then she has to run a few errands um, because I don't have a car so um, I'm gonna do my nails and then my eyebrows and then she's gonna pick me back up and then we're gonna go right back home literally always the hardest part. I think I like this color, but I don't know. I typically go with for like neutrals and stuff, so I don't know. So this is before, and this is after. I also got my toes done. You guys can see I am super duper red. This is what Irish blood does to you guys. <laughs> so it's pretty safe to say I'm gonna look crazy the rest of the vlog because my eyebrows are literally absurd oh but they look God. really good so <laughs> I didn't just, even see them. Yeah just not the red part. <laughs> How can you not see them? They're like red traffic lights. They really are. <laughs> my baby's so white. He's like shark bait. We are now on our way home. It was funny at the nail shop they were like do you do photography or why are you filming? So it was really <laughs> awkward. And I was just like, are, I do YouTube. People were like thinking I was like filming for another business or something. Oh my god, that's exactly what Yeah, it it's not anything else other than that. <laughs> So we did just get home. We're gonna go through some pictures, but before we are going to be doing the comment of the day. So the question of the day is from Elsa Camp. Yes, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, but it says, "Hi, you guys. My question of the day is to Alex. How did you get the scar on your face? Love your videos. Greetings from Denmark. So this is the scar on my face, as well as all my pores. <laughs> so this is a really dramatic story." So basically, there was a bobcat loose in our neighborhood. You're hearing it correctly. There's a bobcat loose in our neighborhood. Um, and I was, how old was I? Three or four. Basically, my mom went and told me to close the doggy door, right? You guys are gonna be really disappointed with the story, by the way. No, you so, didn't. I didn't tell you to close the doggy door. Yes, you did. No. Yes, I you said, did. 
get away from the docky door. <laughs> Let me have the camera. Turn it on. <laughs> I could have sworn I remembered it differently. I did not tell my three-year-old, go close the doggy door. There's a bobcat on the street. Oh, I've been telling this story to so many people. So many people think you're a terrible mother. And I didn't help. Yeah, you wanted to slide the thing. Okay, the so yeah, I remember that part. But we had a cat and a dog. Yes, and they like somewhat got they along. They butt heads. Yeah, like obviously get, dogs we were and cats. dragging one through the doggy door. Mother was in the hospital. She calls me and she said, Robin, there's a bobcat on your street. And I'm thinking, yeah, on my street, whatever, okay. So I turn the news on, and there's my house, and there's a bobcat running down the street. And I almost died, but what are the odds of him coming in my doggy door? So I run and close the doggy door. The cat's outside, and the cats don't like that. And I'm dragging him through the doggy door. And Alex is like, mommy, mommy. I said, well, you have to lock the doggy door. And the dog was standing there. I drug the cat in, and she was right in the middle of it all with that damn door in her hand. I want to help. And the dog and the cat got the big fight. I could have sworn right in my front entire of her. And I go, no, my baby. And I grabbed her, and she started bleeding. And I'm like, thanks, Mom. This is how, like, I remember it. <laughs> yes. Go close the doggy door. Yeah, I'm all Okay. Scared. I was on the couch going, there was a bobcat, three-year-old, go close the doggy door. Well, I remember it. You said, to go close the doggy door. So Alex to the rescue here, right? right. <laughs> go and close the doggy Wrong. door. And I remember the dog and cat were fighting, and I didn't want them to fight. I just wanted them to be friends, you know? I like my cat. Peace. I like my dog, right? Peace. So I go over, and I'm like, Hey guys, like let's just be friends. Let's calm down. <laughs> and the cat didn't like what I had to hear, so and that's how I got this. It's so funny too because every time I start this story, I'm always like, "There's a bobcat loose in our neighborhood," and everybody loses their sh. And it's just like, "Oh my god, a bobcat did that to your face!" And I'm just like, "Bro, let me talk." Like one of my biggest, biggest oh my insecurities god. is this scar. So thank you for reminding me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, I'm um, glad you reminded her so she doesn't sound so stupid. I'm going to get scar cream for it, actually, because I really, really, really don't it's like it. It's too late for that. You think it's too late? Yeah. It's for crushing my dreams. Anyway, thank you so much for asking. And again, don't forget to ask more questions because we're going to be answering them for day. So we are going to spend the rest of the night going through pictures and doing all of that stuff. We're going to kind of keep it private. So we're going to end the vlog right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace out.